What is the worst refereeing decision you guys have ever seen? Let's start with you, Frank. Uh, that was um, <laughs> against Wimbledon the first year that I played for Chelsea, the first time that I played against Vinnie Jones and the crazy gang. Um, then uh, they scored, we lost 4-2, I think, at, uh, at home. And, uh, and uh, I tried to save the ball on the line. And I think it was Robbie Earl who jumped on me and headbutt me, but never touched the ball. And the ball went in. And the ref said that that was a goal. And I had a big bump in my head. And I showed to the ref, and uh, Vinnie Jones came to me and said, Hey, Frank, welcome to England. <laughs> that was the worst uh, referee decision, but the best quote from Vinnie Jones. <laughs> Craig, for you? Everyone that wasn't given when I appealed to a referee, that's always the worst decision for me, I'm telling you. Uh, I appeal for everything. Full referees. So, uh, uh, maybe Graham Paul giving the three yellow cards, that was pretty poor. What about Pete Walton? Oh, we can't forget Pete Walton who came out and gave the imaginary yellow card because he left his yellow cards in the dressing rooms. I've seen loads, mate. Absolutely loads. It's, uh, I tell you what's a good one. Maybe it was back in because of the time it was. Watch a YouTube clip if you can of the, the tackle in the, the FA Cup final. Liverpool against Wimbledon back in the late 80s. Straight from the kickoff, Vinnie Jones and off Frank touched on Vinnie Jones. Vinnie Jones absolutely mullered Steve McMahon and I don't even think it was a yellow card. Uh, have, a, have a butchers at that if you get a chance. Final one, speaking of butchers, who was the biggest butcher you played with or against, Frank? Well, we named the one, I think, uh, Vinnie Jones at the time. We, we, against me, it was, he was getting tired, you know, he was getting old and getting tired, so he was always right. late, so he didn't touch anybody. But I would say Denise Weiss. I remember that we had a friendly game against Milan at San Siro and my former teammates, uh, um, national teammate uh, uh, Christophe Dugarry came to, came to see me once during the game. He said, can you say to your captain to slow down and calm down? It's only a friendly game. I said, go, go to tell him yourself, you know, he doesn't understand what I say. He doesn't want to understand. He's like that. He killed everybody. It was a friendly game. Nice guy out, out of the pitch, but uh, the hell in, uh, on the field. Do you know what he used to do? I think I've said this before, uh, Dan. It, it, it seems it seems petulant, and it is, but it annoys players. It's like when he when he went into a tackle with you. I mean, I never played against him. I only played with him, but I watched him do it. When he went into a tackle with people, I saw him do it to Nicky Bot in the Man United game. They'd be on the floor, and he would pull. It sounds stupid, but he'd pull the hairs and and the other players' legs quite hard. And if you've ever heard that done to you, it's a little bit sore, but it's really bloody annoying. And he used to do things like that. He used to just annoy people and wind people up. He was dirty. I tell you, a guy who I wouldn't have wanted to play against was Mick Harford. I played with Mick Harford, a former striker at Chelsea. Mick was one of the hardest players that I ever came across, but an absolute gentleman off the field. And one guy, I don't know if Frank will remember this guy, he wasn't the dirtiest player I ever played with, but he was one of the craziest. He was a left-back called Steph, Stefan Mahé. He played for Rennes in France and he came to Celtic and he was a little bit or a lot crazy and he could put a tackle in as well. Stefan Mahé was a little mad. I know Do you remember him, him Frank? And he was a good friend of mine. Yeah, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. In the, and it's true, he played for Auxerre before. And they came to, I remember when he went to Scotland. And he had adapted to, uh, to, the, to the game very, very well. But he was, he was a tough guy. But again, it's like some people, uh, when they are behind their, their, their how do you say, their, their wheel the, 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 in the car, um, and they, 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 they get crazy. But they are the nicest people uh, on earth. And that's the case for Denis Wise, and that was the case for Stéphane Maé. But they, you couldn't bear where you couldn't uh, take care of them on the field because they, they lost their mind. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.